Okay, so I just want to go through the basic operation of this tool. This, uh, this tool is on a doorbell, two-speed hoist, first indent slow speed, second indent high speed. The vacuum gauge here really should let indicate the level of vacuum you have. The level of vacuum is going to vary drastically between a non-porous part like a pail and a porous part like a box. We're going to go ahead and show the difference. Uh, we'll come on here onto the pail. On the pail, you're pulling about 23, 24 inches of mercury. Uh, you have a floating handle here as well as an anti-drop circuit to prevent you from releasing the part in midair. So I can hit the release button here. Until I actually set this part down, I'll hold the release button. As soon as the weight comes off, it releases. So this tool also has an interchangeable head on it. So I can drop this tool down. Pull this pin right here and disconnect. The airline. Now, if I lift up, I'll leave that tool where it was. I can come over here. Drop it on. Repin this tool. This new tool for the airline here real quick. It's got to be a quick uh, disconnect here. It's hiding from me over here. Plug that in right here. Now you have a box gripping tool. Same exact tool, just interchangeable head. So it's very, you know, very nice for having multiple parts. We'll go ahead and grip this. And this is going to pull closer to 11 inches of mercury. So, you know, 11, 10, uh, able to pick up this box on a gore bell bridge train using a gore bell two speed hoist. And again, I can take this higher or lower with this floating handle. Still stay in a good ergonomic position. You also have the anti drop circuit here, so I can't release this part in mid air. I'll go ahead and pick it up, set it back down on the table here. Release the part, and that is the operation of this tool. For any other questions, feel free to give us a, give us a call. Thank you.